One, two, three, Kelo and five, six, family. Hi, welcome to episode four of Captain News, the only broadcast brought to you by students for students. We are very much excited to be back. And if you haven't, any, you haven't watched any of our episodes, go check it out on YouTube. We are posting live events as well as East Captain Second. This semester is going by so fast, and we only have a couple more days of school left this year. Summer is going to be here fast, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm so ready for a break. Man, I ain't gonna lie, me too. Sleeping in sounds amazing right now. But first, let's get to our first story up. It's a big one. I know a lot of us have been wondering about what all the construction is about. Okay, I'm Mackenzie. Who am I here with? Mr. Graham. What are we doing today? We're going to take a look inside the gym and get a sneak peek of the remodel. Y'all want to do that? Okay. All right, let's go. So, what are we doing here in the lobby? All right, guys, we're right here in the lobby. We just come into the, the, the main doors, and uh, as you can see, uh, it's looking a little bit different. We're going to have a brand new ceiling all the way through the lobby. Uh, it's going to be it's going to have a cool design to it. You know, take a look at this back wall right here. All right, so right now, some of the painting is done. But the, we're going to have a, a nice C logo right there in the middle of that wall. And it's going to have some cool lighting behind it, so it's going to look really good. This looks really different. What are y'all doing here in the gym today? All right, so check this out. So if you pan around this whole gym, you're going to see a lot has changed, all right? So we have removed the old bleachers. The bleachers are gone. Around, uh, you'll notice some things have already been updated. We've got new lighting that has been installed. Uh, we've got sound panels that are on that back wall. You'll notice the paint scoreboard that's in the center of the gym that hangs down right in the middle. It's gonna look really cool. And uh, again, brand new floor, brand new bleachers, banners for all of the championships, the, the region championships, the state championships, uh, all of those things. Those have been relocated and laid out all on this one wall right here, and it looks really, really good. So we're excited about that. All right, so as you can see, all of the lockers are gone, all right? So we removed all of those old red lockers. We're gonna have brand new lockers installed and uh, it'll be in the boys' locker room and the girls. Is there anything else you wanna tell us about the tour or anything that we missed? Well, yeah, uh, one, we're excited. There's a lot of work that's been done very quickly. Uh, I think right now we're actually working ahead of schedule. We've got our fingers crossed that this project could be completed by September 1st. Don't hold us to that, but we're meeting every Friday with, with the, uh, the contractors and talking about our progress, and right now it's looking good. So all, we're on the outside back where we started. Uh, one last detail, uh, if you look right up there uh, on the wall, we're gonna have us a nice big C logo. Thank you for uh, coming and checking out the gym. We're really excited about it, and uh, it's gonna be nice for uh, a long, long time. Go Cavs. The gym is going to look amazing. I know we have needed a remodel for a long time now. Yeah, we have. And that part about a new hanging scoreboard, too, is going to make a huge difference in there. Speaking of numbers, we got a trivia question for y'all that I hope some of you can answer. Welcome to the third Cap, Cap 10 Trivia. What year did a Callaway High School first open? 1996, 1993, 1999, or 2000? The answer was 1996. The school was opened and said to replace Hawkinsville High School and the name Callaway as she came a family who lived in this area. On Tuesday, Callaway's top scholars were recognized for awesome work in their classrooms throughout the year. That's right. The best of the best were honored. Let's check out some footage. Our Honors Day Tuesday was a huge success. Over 250 students were recognized for their hard work in the classrooms. We're very proud of all of our honor students and we would love to see you all continue to work hard. Before I go, let me leave you off with a quote from Ava DuVernay. Be passionate and move forward with gusto every single hour of every single day until you reach your goal, period. We still have a lot of big things headed our way. 
on Tuesday, the entire school will get to watch another live stream straight from our broadcast room. Yeah, you're right. You will not want to miss this either. Callaway's own Battle Victorian and Salutatorian will be part of an amazing interview led by Mr. Williams and Dachon Shepard. At 9 a.m. on Tuesday, all calves will tune in to watch from our YouTube channel. If you're at home supporting us, make sure you mark your calendar and watch. I hope even though it is the end of the year, I hope y'all are still focused on being the best and y'all finish out this school year strong. As a reminder, here's a second video tutorial on how to be Callaway. Lexi's, she's been Callaway. We need more students like her. This guy here. We don't need people like this. You don't. You do not want to be a Brandon. This guy, bro. How did he switch games? Like, how did he even play that game? It's not school appropriate. I don't know if y'all see it, but don't be a Brandon. Be Callaway. Even though it is the end of the school year, remember to work hard and to finish out strong. On Wednesday, Callaway Media was given the opportunity to live stream for our very own school system. This is a big honor and a very important event. Our old media team had the job of making sure everything ran smoothly for the TCSS teacher retirement. And let me tell y'all, our Cavaliers killed it. On May 10th, Callaway Media was given a huge task of live streaming the teacher retirement reception for Troop County Schools. There were over 46 teachers, admin, and other staff members that were recognized. Callaway Media would like to give a huge shout out to our own Jordan Hardy, Dashaun Shepard, Armani Hope, and Katie Harris. They did an outstanding job and everything ran so smoothly. You can watch the entire event on our YouTube channel. Way to go, Cavs! Y'all did such a good job. We are one week away from our spring football game. Y'all cannot forget to be at Callaway Stadium at 7 p.m. to cheer our Cavaliers on. Some black and red and help us yell for our team. This morning, our new metal detectors were installed. CHS admin would like to give a huge shout out to all students. That's right. This morning was incredible and so smooth. Huge thank you to all CHS students. In case you were absent, here's a short clip of what to expect Monday morning when you arrive. Hey Cavs, our new metal detectors are up and working. When you arrive at school on Monday, the table outside of school can be used to set your book bag on. You will need to pull out your Chromebook or iPad. There is also a trash can to throw anything away. When you come to the entrance, be ready to hand your Chromebook over to a teacher. No need to hand your phone over. If you should experience a beep, you will be asked to take a gingerbread stance. Our SROs will make sure you are clear to go to class. Remember to leave space between you and the person in front of you. Safety first at Callaway. Well, Cavaliers, that is all we got for episode four. We have one episode left for the season, and then you will have to tune in next season. This is Cav 10 News, bringing you the best 10 out of 10 story in less than 10 minutes. Never folding under pressure. Always finish it around. Send them to the end like number one. Come on, let's check the film. One, two, three, Callaway, four, five, six, family. I built it.